excited to be in these gardens with you and with Deb. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey. All right. Shall we start the live stream? Beautiful. Dylan will give us the high sign when we're ready. <laughs> Welcome, table. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Better get up to the table as soon as you are able. Oh, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Look at this dish that I just found. I'm gonna pass it around and around. It's a big cup of kindness. A big cup of kindness. Yes. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. The welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Look at that dish I just found. Just gotta pass it round and round. <laughs> Welcome. It's a, a big jug of justice. A big jug of justice. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Oh, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Look at this dish that I just found. I'm gonna pass it around and around. A big platter of equality. A big platter of equality. Yeah. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Oh, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Look at this dish that I just found. I'm gonna pass it around and around. What's that? A big hopper of hope. <laughs> yeah. A big hopper of hope. Yeah. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Look at this dish that I just found. I'm gonna pass it around and around. It's a jug of abundance. It's a jug of abundance. Yeah. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Look at this dish I just found. I'm gonna pass it around and around. It's a goblet of gratefulness. Oh, we already know. It's, it's a goblet of gratefulness. Yeah. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Won't you look at this dish that I just found? <laughs> I'm going to pass it round and around. It's a loving spoonful. <laughs> it's a loving spoonful. Yeah. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. Well, the welcome table is a mighty fine table. Get up to the table as soon as you are able. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all. That song was written by our dear friend Greg Boardman right here. <laughs> and you, and you guys made up all the verses, so I'll, I'll split the credit. With it. <laughs> that's a that's a good pocket song. You can take that home, put it in your pocket. Um, and uh, here we are. We're the Goller Family Band, and we are here at Avena Botanicals. Deb Sewell, thank you so much for. Ah, this breath of amazing fresh air and and the magical plants. They like there's many fairies that will be singing along with us today, um, and we are here to.
to fundraise for the Somali Bantu Community Association and a project that they are involved with, the Agrarian Land Trust. And um, I'll pass it over to Ethan to kind of explain a little bit more about the details of that. Sure. Yeah. Um, a few months ago, Molly shared an idea for us to, as a, as a family band, to have a concert that has directed intention um, towards benefiting a, um, a BIPOC-led cause, whether in our community or, or elsewhere. And um, our other dear friend and family member, Kelly Sandman, sent an email long ago um, about this project, the, the Little Juba um, Agrarian Commons, um, which was, and we can say was because the fundraiser successfully um, concluded a few weeks ago with $367,000 <laughs> raised um, a mix of individual donors um, and grants and larger organizations coming together to secure um, about 107 acres of farmland for the Somali Bantu Community Association. Um, their Liberation Farms project, which has um, has worked to connect new Americans, Somali Bantu community members, um, with farmland uh, with which to connect and grow food for themselves and their families, um, is expanding over this entire large um, portion of land, and they've they've guaranteed a, a tenth of an acre to the families that work with the SBCA um, and Liberation Farms. And um, when we, yeah, when we started dreaming up this benefit concert, it wasn't clear whether, um, whether the project would be, would be funded and what time it would be funded by. And as we were really getting the gears uh, rolling, they, they reached their, their goal um, in order to, to purchase this farmland, which felt like this far off dream at one point. Um, and yet, there's, uh, there's still uh, over $250,000 of fundraising left to do to, to get the farm really on its feet and rolling. Um, and so we just realized that though this concert would not be for the purchase of the farm, it could be to celebrate the acquisition of the farmland and be a little bit of an extra, um, an extra boost just to keep things rolling in a helpful direction. Um, and that's thanks to the generosity of, um, of Deb and Avina and all of you for being here and everybody who's watching on the live stream. Your donations are going to make a real, yeah. a real difference in, in getting all of this rolling. Um, for those who don't know, um, about 98% of farmland in the States is um, owned by white farmers. Um, and so getting soil and land into the hands of BIPOC farmers is a really, really big <laughs> deal right now and something... Um, that's worthy of celebrating, especially uh, a huge gain like this um, with the, the little Juba comment. So we're here to celebrate and support that together tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here we are. Um, thank you, Ethan. That was perfect. Um, we're going to play the next song, Lay Me Down a Pallet on Your Floor. And um, I'd love to sing this with the sentiment that um, whoever you are, you're welcome at my house. Come on over, we'll lay you down a pallet on my floor. Um, there have been plenty of people that have offered that to me as I travel. Um, and this is written by Mississippi John Hurt. Um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> lay me down a pallet on your floor. Lay me down a pallet on your floor. Lay me down a pallet soft and low. Make me a pallet on your floor. Lay me down a pallet on your floor. Lay me down a pallet on your floor. Shoulders. 
shoulders is tight. The way I'm sleeping, my back and shoulders is tight. Guess I'll roll over, try me another side. I don't blame you. <laughs> Lay me down a pallet on your floor. Lay me down a pallet on your floor. I may never see this town no more. I may never see this town no more. But if I ever do, it'll be on account of you because you made me a pallet on your floor. Now lay me down a pallet on your floor. Lay me down a pallet on your floor. Lay me down a pallet soft and low. Make me a pallet on your floor. Don't ever turn a stranger from your door. Don't ever turn a stranger from your door. Cause you never know when you'll be a rogue. Looking for a pallet on the floor. Lay me down a pallet on the floor. Lay me down a pallet on your floor. Lay me down a pallet soft and low. Make me a pallet on your floor. Let's sing it all together now. Lay me down a pallet on your floor. I think you're singing. <laughs> lay me down a pallet on your floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lay me down a pallet soft and low. Make me a pallet on your floor. We'll do that after the concert. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, we are so... Um, we feel so honored to be here at Avino Botanicals, and we thank Deb so much for hosting this amazing event. Um, and it's so beautiful to see this beautiful garden in its in its fall phase. It's it's very quietly winding down, and little bursts of color here and there. And um, I was rem reminded of a song, a fall song, as we were Deb and John and I were paddling on uh, Belfast Bay. Harbor <laughs> last week, and um, I just thought that would be an appropriate song to sing today. Mm. It's called Fall is Here. Don't be shy, my friends. Stand up to the microphones. <laughs> and please sing along. It's got a nice chorus. When my cows don't choose to go down to the pastures far and near, but stay close in the last warm sun. Around the place I'll know that fall is here. When the apple and the pear bend down with their fruit so near, and the children go a gathering. Around the place I'll know that fall is here. Around the place I'll know that fall is here. When evenings come early and the morning's clear. Past the fallowed fields I've worked this year. Around the place I'll know that fall. When the corn has gone to dent Across the fields like old men appear And we gather and store it away Around the place I'll know that fall is here When the hay is gathered in Stacked up tier on tier, and it's smelling like summer.
summer's come and gone. All around the place I'll know that fall is here. Around the place I'll know that fall is here. When evenings come early and the morning's clear. Across the fallowed fields I've worked this year. Around the place I'll know that fall is here. When maples red and birches gold Across the valleys far and near And the wood is stacked up to the eaves Around the place I'll know that fall is here. When pumpkins and squash are gathered in, tomatoes stacked up jar by jar, and the carrots and onions are in the bin. Around the place I'll know that fall is here. Around the place I'll know that fall is here. When evenings come early, and the morning's clear. Across the fallowed fields I have worked this year. Around the place I'll know that fall is here. Fall is here. Thank you. <laughs> well, we have a very special friend and guest to, uh, to invite up to the, the grassy stage here. This fella has been uh, friends with my parents for a long time and uh, has been a, a teacher of mine. Um, just been dear, dearly connected to this particular fellow for a long time with our family. And he also, um, he lives and makes music and teaches in Lewiston um, and uh, connected with um, some some dear friends, some some, some Somalian folks who had uh, immigrated to Lewiston area, and so we thought, well, we couldn't do this concert without without Greg Boardman because we love making music with him. So this is here, here, our dear friend <laughs> Greg Boardman. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> A proper applause, yes. That was your cue. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. This is wonderful. So, Jay and I, right? Yeah, yeah. so we're going we're gonna to play a little set of tunes. Um, the first one is a, is a tune I wrote um, uh, after one of the tall ships in Rockland. Uh, we were able to spend a week on one of those ships last summer. I think it, oh gosh, it feels like forever ago. But it was, yeah, it was last May. Um, and we had an incredible week of singing and making music on the tall schooner and uh, got off the boat and my legs were still rolling around from sea legs and I this, this tune came out right, at, right as I got home. So this is called Janie Riggin and we'll go into a tune of Greg's called Yorkshire Lass and we might have fondly renamed it to the epic tune because it's just it's so great it's a wonderful tune so we'll play that and then um go into uh, a tune called the barnyard polska which is written by our family member bennett Kinesny, who unfortunately last minute could not be here tonight so we're really we're he's with here he's here with us in spirit for sure so we'll play the barnyard polska for bennett Thank 
<laughs> we have a wonderful new dancer in our group. We do. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. As was mentioned, that last polka was written by our dear brother Bennett. Yes, through the people. And uh, every note in that <laughs> tune and every bit of sunshine and plant love goes right to Bennett yep. yeah. where he is right now because he kind of wishes he were right here yeah. and so do we so Bennett all our love yes, indeed. all right I'll sing I'll sing one that I, I haven't sung in, in quite a while um, but it's it's a it's an ode to farming in Maine in particular um, it's called the song of the harrow and the plow and it was um, the words were written by a Maine poet back in, I don't know, before the late 1800s or something like that. Um, Holman Day is his name. And then I caught onto the words and put it to music a long time ago, and it's it recorded it a little while ago. Um, but I just, it's extra special to sing this song in this particular context and really have it go out to... Um, to all the farmers in Maine, and I'm just, I'm so incredibly glad um, and excited for the, the Somali Bantu Community Association and the farmland that they just have secured. And so this goes to many, many years of, of um, abundant food and crops for, for everyone in that community. We'll see if I can remember all the words to this song. <laughs> From the acres of rustic brought in mellow in the sun down to Rocky York, the course of the farmers has begun. And they are riding in a rustic on their patent sulky plows. They are riding, taking comfort for they've learned the secret how. And they're planting their potatoes with a whirring new machine. Driver sits beneath his awning, slickest thing you ever seen. So they sit upon their cushions, cock their legs, and smoke and ride. And they pitched a tune to a jubilant strain, lilting it merrily now. It is a song we wait for here up in Maine. It's the song. his velvet fields and her mellow crumbly acres vomit forth the spends field. All oh, the rest are just as cheerful on their hillside farms of sea, for there's cozy wealth in gardens and a fortune in a tree. 
And the woman who rides a planter or who plots a broken earth Jones and swells the mighty chorus of that season's wedding And they pitched a tune to a jubilant strain And they will take it fairly now It is a song we wait for here up in Maine It's the song song of the coming of the spring and the song of the empty mouth of the quiver of the birth that's stirring in the earth it's the song of the harrow and the plow it's the song Cheeto All right, we're gonna we're gonna bring Edith up to this center stage here to sing a song about the four leggeds who uh, we all have had many four leggeds beloved in our lives. Uh, I think there's actually a little dog in the in the audience here right now, which is so sweet. <laughs> and it's can I just say it's so such a treat to have have these folks right here joining us around the willow tree in this garden tonight. This is uh, a major treat for us, not something we're able to do so much of right now these days, so it means a lot to have you here, and it also means a lot to have all of you watching uh, on the live stream as well. Um, and that was a little tangent, but um, this song is called Old Blue, and um, one that Edith learned from another dear friend, Katie Newell. It's an old English song, I think. Um, and uh, she wrote a tune in the middle of it, too, called Old Blue's Wail. And, yeah, I'm kind of just stalling a little bit. Well, they tune their fiddles to cross-tuning. <laughs> I don't know why I keep insisting we sing this song, because it, yeah, you have to Cause it's put so your good. fiddles in a weird tuning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Edith picked up her fiddle case one day and the fiddle fell out and it came back in this tuning and then she created this tune. <laughs> this tuning. <laughs> Had to. No, but it's an old, 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 old song, as Elsie probably told you. Um, sung by many great people. <laughs> I don't know what you said. I was busy. <laughs> anyway, there's a part for you. Did you say that? No. Okay. Uh, oh, goodness. Uh, it goes... <whistles> just like that. You got it. All right, so follow this guy, <laughs> and it's called Old Blue. <laughs> so annoying. I'm so sorry. Now it's the cello that's out of tune. You have no excuse. So also called Sun Going Down. Tune in. Yeah, yeah. The air changes and the strings change. They start to relax like we all do this time of night. Oh. And uh, so it's just the way it is. <laughs> That's why they call it folk music. <laughs> That's why. That's Sun why. Sunset to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good dog, too. Singing oh blue. You're a good dog, you. Oh, oh blue. blue. You're a good dog, you. Yeah. <laughs> Tune. 
So I left my gun and I chewed my horn. I went to find a possum in the new grown corn blue. Chewed a possum and went to see. Had the possum up a tall oak tree. Singing, oh, blue. <coughs> You're a good dog, you. Oh, blue. blue. Boardman back up to play a couple songs that he taught us many years ago. We used to have this standing gig in Augusta, and we did a split bill together with the Boardman family and the Galler family. It was such fun. We were, we were supposed to do it this year, but then, you know, you know, I don't need to say <laughs> the, the word, but uh, it's really fun to, to do this collaboration, get a chance to collaborate with you again. Yeah. Cool about this right one? Up. Okay. So, wow, what a, what a joy to be here, surrounded by all these strings and voices. You ought to try it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So, yeah, I live in Lewiston, and um, uh, things changed big time, like around 2001. Wow. Suddenly, uh, the streets were filled with these these figures, these dark, darker-skinned figures, dressed colorfully with 
long, colorful gowns sweeping the, sweeping the streets and the gutters and the sidewalks. And seem like they're floating, floating through town. And, uh, and all the men and... Um, so I really, I just had to find out about their music. That was, that was my mission, see what's going on here. So I borrowed a, an oud from a friend. An oud is like uh, a popular instrument in the Arabic Peninsula and Eastern Africa. It's like a lute with no frets on it. And I uh, dug out a few records and I started to hear what it sounded like. But anyway, there was going to be a community gathering and, um, and I took my friend's oud and I, at this at St. Mary's Church before it became the Franco American Center, and downstairs we had uh, everyone meeting there, Somalis and the local folks, and um, and I just kind of cruised in there with my ooh, just like bait, you know, <laughs> m musician bait. <laughs> and pretty soon these guys, you know, let me see that thing. We were pretty soon we were in a closet, and 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 this guy came to me as Qasim Naji was uh, grabbed that thing and he said this is how you play it and he, he started playing and I, I'll never forget um, this one guy sat down next to him and he just put his ear up against the side of the of the oud as Qasim was playing it and softly sang this melody um, that was very haunting to me and I, I asked about it and they said oh that's uh, that's our flag song that's called Kolaba. And um, I said, what's, so what's it about? I said, well, it's about when we get up in the morning, we, we uh, see our flag flying above us. And of course, they're not talking about a flag that they're hoisted up or anything, but they actually, if you look over there, you can actually see the Somali flag, the blue sky around the, uh, around the sun there. It's really simple and, and beautiful, profound. <laughs> So anyway, I don't know Somali, I still don't, but I, uh, I put some words to it to sort of um, get in the mood of, of the tune. And we'll play it for you and sing it. Ready? Here we are. the sea and mountainside holds the moon and the stars together and the sun on its daily
Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to we're going to play one more song and then um we're going to take a little bit of an intermission and um for you for all the live stream viewers um we'll just take a second to um to switch over to a a, a Zoom conversation and chat with Muhuddin who is the um director of the Somali Bantu Community Association. So um, Ethan's going to talk with him for about 10 minutes to talk about um, their project and, and what it means, what this land means, and what the Little Juba Agrarian Common Commons um, is all about. And um, for our, lives, our live audience, um, it's a little bit of a choose-your-own-adventure intermission. You're welcome to <laughs> um, stretch your legs and visit the gardens and get some tea. Um, and also, if you wish, you can view the um, the conversation on, if you have a, a personal device, you can watch that now or later. So we'll take a little bit of an intermission after this next song. Um, and to close out the first set, we're going to ask Ethan to share one of his songs that's been just such an, an anthem in this particular time um, with COVID and also what's happening in the world at large. Um, We'll this is more about it. our good friend Ethan Tischler, who has yes. been so um, honorably joining our band here. It's just <laughs> a wonderful addition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank so you, Ethan. I'm personally very happy to have Ethan Tischler here. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and, and really, really, really deeply grateful to, to be here with, with this circle and this circle and sharing our energies with the, <laughs> the wider circles out there. Um, this next song, I've been really fortunate to sing with these wonderful folks um, for this year. And uh, I wrote it back in 2016, so it's been around for a little while, but it's it's taken on, I think, special, special meaning um, with COVID-19 um, and the killing of George Floyd and so many others, the rise of Black Lives Matter in in public consciousness and all of the different layers of, of turmoil that um, that we've been moving through collectively this year and in past years and um, the song the lyrics trace their way back uh, to a 14th century um, some say mystic some say theologian an anchorite and an anchoress meaning somebody who lived there their life in a small cell attached to a, a monastery. Um, this is, these are from the words of Julian of, of Norwich, um, who wrote one of the, the first and, and oldest surviving English language volumes written by a female author um, called The Revelations of Divine Love. And she was writing in the 14th century uh, in, in England and Europe in the, in the heat and, and throes of the plagues and so many uh, wars and just really, really hard time um, in that part of the world at that time. And she stayed so focused on on the goodness uh, of people and the goodness of the world despite that. And she's often quoted for this line, um, and all will be all will be well, and all will be well, all manner of things shall be well, which taken out of context sounds great. But also, <laughs> in the context that she was living in, and what she moved through in in her life and her age, for her to be able to say that truthfully brings a, a different flavor to the words. Um, 
and been sitting with those for a while and have just come to take it to mean that no no matter what is happening, no matter what uh, human uh, drafted ills we may be moving through, um, that that the heart of of every being is is pure and and the heart of life is is good and and that that's always always there for for us to connect to no matter what's going on um and we can we can share that with ourselves and the people around us um in little ways like coming together to support this project and in big ways like dedicating our lives towards teaching music and connecting young folks with the gifts of this world and um yeah we'll offer it as a song to sing together to close out this first set um with yeah just deep thanks for everybody being here um yeah in person and on the on the interwebs um and the chorus is just those words <clears throat> there and all will be well 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 children
Brett and Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you in the Jiffy. Yep. We'll be back with another another set of music, and in the meantime, we'll say hi to Mr. Dean. Thank you so much.
Okay. Greetings, Mohidin. Hello. Thank you so much for for being here tonight, even if over over computer screens. Yeah, for some odd reasons, my earphone is not working. Oh, and Dylan, we can hear you too. Can you hear me really well? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> so, so, so. Okay. We lost you for a bit, but I think, I think, I think we're back. Okay. I can hear you. Can you hear us all right? I can hear you. I can't hear the background. Okay. <laughs> um, again, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for, for all the work with the, the SBCA and congratulations, huge congratulations on the the successful fundraiser for Little Juba. So, uh, you are, you are tonight. I think we're losing you again. So how are we doing this? Oh, we just... okay. um, I think wherever you are, the um, the cell reception is coming in and out. Yeah, I don't know. I have difficult time uh, oh, you reaching need... out. How about what if you turn off your video? We can go to just just audio. Okay. I think that might that might get us through, um, and so uh, yeah, let's just let's just jump jump right in then for time since I think we have our signal now. Um, we we're just hoping um, for the folks tuning in to the the live stream for the concert tonight. If you could tell us just a little bit about how the the vision for the little Juba came came to be how long this is this particular piece of land has been a, a dream for the for the community well thank you so much for your question and uh, uh, to start up with uh, we have been farmers back home in Africa and uh, since 1991 we have been moving throughout Africa uh, we have been about two to three different countries, different parts of the country in itself. And uh, we never had a sense of peace and security. And when we came to US, when that is when the first time we felt like this is the secure place we need to be. And that is when we started thinking about farming. So farming has been at the back of our mind, uh, at the back of our parents' mind, at the back of our grandparents' mind. So farming was the basic thing that we used to do. So we started farming in 2014 mm -hmm. and uh, we have seen unsecure land access whereby every time we ask for a long time lease, the landlords always used to say, let us do annual lease, which mm -hmm. means you can be farming this year, 2020, for example, and not sure about farming in 2021. So that has been an issue for us because our program has a lot of farmers, about 220 farmers. So with that amount of people, we could not handle uncertainty sure. for a while. So that is when looking for a peace of mind that is ours started to come to be. So this was about 2016, 2017. Right now, as we speak, uh, Lowestoft Field is ending December of 2020. 
and and it's not going to be renewed. So that is the kind of things we have been running from. So right now, that is when we think, how can we own a piece of property without having a credit, without knowing how to do that? Uh, it was really tough. And that is when we started looking around to get partners. And we found Agrarian Trust. And that is the partner that is now helping us walk us through this process. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And you said 220 families or 220 farmers for? It's 220 farmers and basically it's 220 families plus because wow. each farmer will invite friends and families that are their relatives to feed on the piece that is given to that one family farmer. So as we speak right now, my best friend at the at the, my best my school friend came from Boston and we are enjoying time having uh, roasted corn and we are talking at the farm. So these are the kind of things that uh, we can't say it is just one family. It's more than a family, but it is 220 families sure. that farms with us. That's incredible. And yeah. and and the feeling is with the with the new agrarian commons that there, there will be room for for each of those families to have enough enough land to to really sustain themselves and and each other yes on top of that this will be a land where our people who are not farming can come and visit and talk to friends and enjoy life away from the city uh, yes. people are so busy working in the city sometimes in a manufacturing, a busy, noisy place. So they need, whenever they, are time, they got time off, they need a sec secure, a calm place to be. So this could be a place where they can enjoy time away from the city and from their works. So much more than just a, a farm. Yes, and it's gonna be a cultural place where we can exercise our culture, where we can dance and, and, and even invite people who are getting weddings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. And and so in in September, three hundred and sixty seven thousand, that guarantees the the full purchase, right, of the of the commons. No, it's kind of tricky. The yeah. land in itself is four hundred and ten thousand yeah, dollars. Okay. So yeah. for Charlie to move out of the land, it's $367,000 mm -hmm. to close the lease. So there's some other surplus of money that will be paid when we are on the land. So I don't know the exact mm -hmm. uh, arrangement is with that, but I think there will be some money that has to be paid monthly or annually or something mm -hmm. like that. So the 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 fundraising initiatives that are live now on the Agrarian Trust are, are really important then for, for covering those, those other costs as, as yes. everything gets underway. Yes, and there are other costs that will fall on SPCA because the Agrarian Commons, Little Juba Agrarian Commons is just a brand new C2 nonprofit organization that doesn't have any money to cover the insurance of the land, to cover any trash, pick up wow. electricity and all those. So we are thinking all those pieces will fall on SPCA who will be on the land farming. Gotcha. And that just make, brings up a question that I, thinking of our, of our audience of, of just, are there ways of, of supporting the commons and, and what happens from, from this point on outside of donations or is, are, are those donations just the, the, best, the best way to contribute and support at the, at the moment? Yeah, the best way to help is, uh, I think uh, we have Facebook and Instagram, PayPal account, and also we have, uh, our website has a donation page mm -hmm. and also agrarian trust is also doing some fundraising for us so i think those are the main ways that people can donate 
Sounds great. And just because I know our <laughs> our time is short tonight, um, I just one last question. Just wondering um, what what you see as I mean, you've covered so many, so much ground and and so many challenges to get where you are right now with with this community and the project. Are there? I guess my question is just, I, what do you see as uh, as challenges for the the season ahead? And what are you most excited about at this at this point um, in the in the arc of, of this vision and, and project? Yeah, there's always a challenge and 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 most of the time challenges also most of the time is funding challenges, mm -hmm. but there are also challenges from the community itself where the word is we've we bought a piece of property. So what we are suggesting to the community is since we have widened farm for the next two years, let us prep the soil, let us make mm -hmm. the soil, uh, like amend the soil, pieces that they, they lack, uh, nutrients that they like. Let us do that 2021 and then move in 2022. And, and the farmers are so excited and they can't even wait. That in itself is a challenge. Sure. Convincing sure. the farmers to wait and, and, and let us make amend the soil. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, we don't, the farm, the land we have right now is so big and it needs bigger equipment to, to break the soil and bigger equipment to spread manure. So that is another challenge we are seeing because what we used to see is that when we invite a farmer or a contractor to come in and work for us, even if we have the money, the contractor will do their field this first and then came, which means we're going to be losing about six weeks of growing in, in main weather because main weather has only about 130, 140 days worth of growing. We are already on a colder season. Nights are going as low as really cold. And yeah, so those are the challenges that we are seeing and, and we appreciate the community help and maybe they will help us figure that out. Like even if they found out a contractor who is not farming, who retired, mm -hmm. can come in and help us, something like that. It's not yeah. always money. It's always not money, but connections is worth money. Like mm -hmm. if you connect me to a farmer with a bigger equipment who can help us uh, to break the soil, that is really helpful. It's equally helpful as a, somebody who donated money to us. So those are the challenges we are seeing mm -hmm. right now. But they are, I'm so excited because <laughs> right now, if I am have to, for example, I have to fulfill an order for tomatoes, I have to go to Lewiston, harvest, go to Urban, harvest, then head to Lisbon to wash wow. and park. Okay. So it takes three <laughs> steps yeah. to, to fulfill an order. So I'm so excited to see that I am walking out of the field directly to the wash station, which is about 250 yards, 250 feet away from where we are farming with a mm. clean water. And then, you know, time was against us when we was the last six years when we were farming. Yeah. Right now, time will, time will help us because we will be just under one roof. And I'm so equally excited to see my goats where I'm farming, like I'm farming here and my goats are grazing there. So it is everything under one roof. And that is what excites me the most. That is fantastic. Congratulations again. I, I hope some of the love and appreciation and, and support can be felt from our little corner of the world where this concert is happening. And I, I'm sorry we didn't have more, more, more time to, to connect and, and hear more in this portion. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate the connection and also say thank you to every single person at the concert. It, it, it means a lot to us. Absolutely, will do. Yep. Yeah. With deep thanks to you and everything that you're up to, all the hard work. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take good yeah. care. All right. Bye-bye.
All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, and I, I caught a little glimpse of the conversation just now between Ethan and Muhyiddin, and it was pretty incredible to hear about um, about the project and just how much the acquisition of the land and um, and the funding for all of the all the expenses that comes with prepping a a piece of farmland to be farmed again, cultivated again, and all the all the all the hard work that goes into what they're doing is pretty amazing to hear uh, hear about what what they're up to, um, and I just in a little snippet of the conversation, Muhyiddin said one of the things that he's um, he's most looking forward to is just being in one one place right now he has to travel to um, three separate towns to harvest to make to fill an order to harvest to two different fields and then come to a wash station oh. in a different town and with this piece of property in in Wales um, he'll be able to harvest and have a wash station with clean water right right nearby to uh, wash his wash his produce um, and that leads me to this next song and just how precious clean water is to um, to everyone. And that's what this song speaks to. I'll let Molly mm. introduce it more. That's beautiful, Else. That's a good piece for this song. Um, it's called My Baby Drinks Water, and it's written by Ruthie Younger. And she wrote it um, during her experience, you know, as many of us were feeling the the heartstrings pulled around Standing Rock. So yeah, black and indigenous people of color. Um, yeah, this is for the, the wish that we all can have clean water and a healthy earth and the circle that we all are connected with in this web of life. My baby drinks water, my baby drinks tea. My baby eats an apple from the old apple tree. My baby drinks milk, mother nature gave me. So please spare the water for my little ones and me. Oh, money buys houses and clothing and more. And money buys food at the big grocery store. And money buys trinkets and money buys toys But it won't buy the earth back for our little girls and boys Do I measure my wealth by the size of my purse? What size is my coffin? What size is my hearse? What size is my heart if I put money first? I over the children and their hunger and thirst. My baby drinks water, my baby drinks tea. My baby eats an apple from the old apple tree. My baby drinks milk Mother Nature gave me. So please spare the water for my little ones and me. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to oh, do a tag re team. I'm going to go to Grow Cleverly, Ma. <laughs> 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 um,
I love that song. The first time we, s- we heard that was actually in Belfast, which is really wonderful. Ruth came with the mammals and played in Belfast, and it was one of the most exciting shows I've been to in a long time, a couple of years ago. And I just, I'm um, missing live music so much. My New Year's resolution this year was to go to every show I could possibly go to, and I started January all all excited about getting out there and supporting live music and literally going to as many shows as possible and so um that changed but i'm excited about next year are you doing that but i have been tuning in a lot this is amazing there's so many people um doing their shows online it's incredible thank you technology for for being here in our time of need (laughs) um of being connected through music um so thank you all for tuning in tonight and thank you all for being here and keeping this uh music scene alive we couldn't do it without you guys um Mm -hmm. and mom is gonna sing one of my favorite songs now my favorite too because it involves all of you oh good (laughs) (laughs) yeah oh thanks edith so i'd like to share a song with you this was a song written by Tommy Sands from Northern Ireland, and it came out of um, what you call the Troubles in Northern Ireland, and um, uh, speaks of the quiet things that parents say to their children in the quiet of their homes. (laughs) They talk about justice and peace and equality, and the things that we value here in our country. but I would say we're a little more jaded than the people who strive so hard to come here because they, they really <laughs> um, are suffering from lack of justice and lack of equality in the places that they come from when they immigrate. So um, we, we, we can thank them for reminding us <laughs> that it's um, qualities that we, we really value too <laughs> and that we need to make sure stay strong. So. Mm. Okay, here we go. It's called Daughters and Sons. Well. <laughs> Well, they wouldn't hear your music and they tore your paintings down and they wouldn't read your writing and they banned you from the town but they couldn't keep you from dreaming and a victory was won when you sowed the seeds of freedom in your daughters and your sons in your daughters and your sons your daughters and your sons. When you sow the seeds of freedom in your daughters and your sons. Well, your weary smile that proudly hides the chain marks on your hands. When you bravely strive to realize the rights of every and though your body spent and the love victory was won when you sowed the seeds of justice in your daughters and your sons in your daughters and your sons your daughters and your sons when you sowed the seeds of justice in your daughters and your sons I don't know your religion, but one day I heard you pray for a world where everyone can work and children they can play. 
Somali jigs. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, I only heard one one Somali song from my 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 good buddy Jamal Karama, who uh, sings a song called Amin. And I changed it into uh, something we could use for contra dance. <laughs> but I asked Jamal. So what's this song about? And uh, we, we had a big set of, of tunes after a while. We, we had a wonderful collaboration, and he said, well, it's about a woman, and I love her, and I want to marry her. Said, That's awesome, you know. Learned that song. We learned another one. And fantastic melody and just, you know, these hooks and rhythms and stuff. Jamal, I love this song. What, what's this one about? Oh, this is a woman. I love her. <laughs> you, you can guess the rest. <laughs> Every song. <laughs> a worthy thing. A worthy thing. <laughs> so. I'm right over in this here. I'm right over okay. There. So here we go. This is uh, 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 Mean. So let's do some tr tr tremendous tremolo. Thank you. 
I, I learned that this, the, the musicians, <laughs> when they're done with a the song, they do this really unique thing. They, they stop playing. <laughs> that's, <just laughs> that's about all I can tell you about it. <laughs> it's, it's, very, it's a beautiful thing. When they begin a song, they start it. And when they, and when they end, they, they, they actually just stop playing. And it's done. It's <laughs> just done. That's a great, that was another great song you guys did. Thanks. It's called <laughs> Respect. <laughs> We're going to have Dad wow. come on up here, sing a song he's been singing for as long as I yeah. can remember. He's been on a long the time. circuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back. Ellen and I would were out playing for folks for many years before the little children were born, and then uh, we were blessed with three lovely daughters, and then our friends that we played music with and that came to hear us play would see us around town and they'd say, gee, we haven't seen you in a long time. What's been going on? And we'd say, we got the best gig in town. We're on the lullaby circuit. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Seeger was a visionary man who spread the power of song and love through music wherever he went. And he went all over the world. And, and he wrote the... Uh, the Golden Thread song in, in the early 1960s to be the theme song of his uh, television program called um, Rainbow Quest. Called the Rainbow Quest. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's a black and white TV show that Pete did with all the musicians he could find in America who were elders, his elders at that time, most of them, and brought them to New York to sing and show people the roots music of our country. And he had a picnic table just like the ones you're sitting at and a nice warm drink for everybody to sip on out of a nice mug. And that was the whole set. And he instructed the filmmakers to be pay particular attention to their left hand on the instrument and their right hand focus in he wanted everybody to be able to, who wanted to, play this music. And that was Pete's gift to the world. So. The, the golden thread has lived through many songs and many people's hearts ever since then. And the Rainbow Quest is Is, is awakening. The best way I can say it, it it's, it's, it's awakening in all of our hearts by what we're doing right here tonight. So old Pete, thanks. <laughs> Through the frozen north, through the frozen north. 
Our dear friend Dylan Lads yet? <laughs> we should right <laughs> now. Absolutely mention our friend Dylan Lads. <laughs> for those in the live stream, you're, you're seeing Dylan do his magic. For for those, I mean, so for those here live with us, you, you're seeing Dylan in person. But for those on the live stream, Dylan Lads is behind the camera and making this magic happen with all the tech, the internet, the video, the sound. Um, and the artful eye. <laughs> so I'd like to just recognize our dear friend, mm -hmm. Dylan Lads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and old Brad Earth. Hello. Yes. <laughs> There's one, oh, one more. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you do my piece? We, We're could, we could finish the, sing, the same one. Sing. Sing, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Pardon us while we have a, a <laughs> band meeting here for a second. <laughs> about not having enough time. <laughs> the light is dwindling. <laughs> Dylan, can we still see okay? All okay. right. Let's do. Yeah, gotta do one thing. Okay. 
Oh. Thank you. Outvoted. Outvoted. <laughs> <laughs> How is everyone doing? Can you can you sit through two more or just one more? <laughs> okay, two more. All right. Amazing. <laughs> I'll have to snag that banjo from my papa. <laughs> uh, I would be delighted to sing one of my uh, new songs, um, Don't Forget to Sing, which is on an album that I just released uh, oh, about oh, two months ago. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> our, our dad's walking away with the banjo currently that in off play. into the garden <laughs> that I need to play for this next song. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is a song called Don't Forget to Sing, um, and I wrote it mostly to get, um, well, it was a helpful reminder to me to get through the winter. <laughs> hey, thank you. I, I heard a flower calling. Yeah. <laughs> and when that comes in, it's amazing. This is one of many songs on Elsie's new solo album, which is super exciting. And I'll just let you get to it because the sun is gone. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, it has a has a chorus that's very wordy, but there are some words that are pretty sticky um, to to catch on um, for you to join in on. Oh, I could do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to sing la di da di da. I'll remind you if you remind me, and then the rest is very wordy and <laughs> you'll you can see you can sing along or just la di da di da along <laughs> yeah you do i do Ab play? yeah totally okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> One, two, three, four. my hands are so gold <laughs> one thing I know deep inside these bones <laughs> it's don't forget to sing a la di da di da I'll remind you if you remind me for the winter's long and song will keep us on keeping us on are the ones a feather blood and bone my friends your kinship will keep me a sin gather around my window sun dances on the trees if i'm that tree well then my friends you are the light without you oh i would surely fall i bow my branches I'll remind you if you remind me 
song, deep in a song, are the ones a feather, blood, and bone, my friend, your kinship will keep me a singing. And don't forget to sing, the la di da I'll remind you if you remind me. For the winter is long, but song will keep us on, keep us on, are the ones a feather, blood, and bone, my friend, your kinship will keep me a singing. Oh, your kinship will keep me a singing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, go sing my piece. Yeah. Sure. All right. A send off. We'll send yeah. you off with one more, one more song to sing together. Um, this is one of the one of the many many songs that Woody Guthrie wrote, um, and he never never put music to it, and um, his son Arlo and family found this collection of three I think Woody wrote three thousand songs something like that yeah, most of un which unpublished unpublished songs I couldn't have you said it better one. myself casting and you're right <laughs> um, <laughs> and anyway uh, Arlo put this one to music and has been singing it around, and uh, our family caught wind of it a number of years ago, and it just rang true with, <coughs> with everything we, we hold dear in our hearts. So this is my, my piece. We'll sing it once, <coughs> and then we'll all sing it together, okie dokie. It's two verses. Yeah, real simple. No. And, two. and thank you all again so much for taking the time to come out and, and be around folks who maybe aren't in your your close quarantine pod it's it's such a gift to mm -hmm. to get to share music and to find ways to mm. to reconnect and stay connected in person in safe ways mm -hmm. um and just huge thanks to deb and avina for yes yeah. for holding us here for dylan for the the video and pj all, all of this all of the great stuff and um yeah we we heard in the break that uh that with that that first big goal reach there's still lots and lots and lots of of great work ahead for the sbca um and so whatever whatever help um, can continue to flow whether it's just sharing sharing your experience here with with friends or just letting other people know about the project it sounds like they would just greatly appreciate you so thank you for that as well yeah Dylan, you want to come sing with us? <laughs> <laughs> you want to come sing with us, Dylan? Uh, <laughs> no, okay. Dylan will be singing from behind the camera. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of unexpected noises going on. <laughs> That's not how the song goes. <laughs> Cass, it's time to listen to Papa. Ready? Let's listen to some more. My peace, my peace is all I've got that I can give to you. My peace is all I've ever had. It's all I ever knew. I give my peace to green and black. To red and white and blue My peace, my peace Is all I've got That I can give to you My peace, my peace Is all I've got Is all I've ever known worth a thousand times more than anything I own. I pass my peace around and around, cross hands of every hue. My peace, my peace is all I've got that I can give to you. My peace, my peace.
peace, that's all I got. My peace, my peace is all I've got that I can give to you. My peace is all I've ever had. My peace is all I've ever It's all had. I ever knew. It's all I ever knew. I pass my peace around and around. I pass my peace around and around. And around. Cross hands Cross of every hands Yes, and thank you so much for, for being here with us tonight. <laughs> Don't forget hot tea for the road. Mm -hmm. And be sure if you're driving home that you have a car. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one person that laughs really loudly. Yeah. <laughs> I love it.